Hello guys, welcome back once more. Thank you very much for staying with us. Remember this show is created specifically to empower you. So do the right thing and continue sending those questions on WhatsApp as well as our Facebook page. We'll be more than glad to help you look into them. We are doing the final touch-ups and dusting off our 2D and 3D trigonometry. Next week we are moving to a new topic, which is solutions of um, third degree polynomials. So start sending those questions in right now. We're now going to go to a question that was sent to us by Kuketo. Let's look at the question. Hi, Tenfo. My name is Kuketo from Topsonville. I have this mathematical question that I'm really struggling with. I would really appreciate your help. Thank you very much for that question, Koketo. Let's go back and try to see if we can make sense of this to help you to understand how do you approach these questions. The most important thing when you're doing these kinds of questions is more often than not, you guys just never know where to start. You find a lot of letters asking you, but how do I know where to start? Well, the secret is this. You always start with any triangle that has got a minimum of three things that are given. Once you have a triangle that has got three things that are given, that is definitely where you need to start to work out whatever that is required. So let's go into this question and see what is happening here. We've got um, in the figure points K, A and F lie in the same horizontal plane. You can see that triangle that is colored right there at the bottom is lying flat and TA represents a vertical tower. We are also told that ATK, which is an angle, is X. We can clearly see that angle X is labeled. And right there at the bottom, we are told that there's an angle KAF, which is 90 degrees plus X. It is this angle right there. All right. Now, if you continue, it says to us KFA. Angle KFA is 2X. I can clearly see there it is right there, where X is between 0 degrees and 30 degrees. And the last thing we're told is that TK is equal to 2 units. So the question is asking us to express AK in terms of sine X. So when you look at this, it's very important for you to understand that we want to find the length of one side, but we can only use a triangle that has got at least three things on it. So when you look at this, you will clearly see that um, the triangle that has got three things on it is triangle T AK. It has got 90 here. We are told this is 2 and there's X there, this is T, and this is K, and then this one is X. We are asked to express a K in terms of sine X. So let's see, according to our socket over there, we have got this angle, which is X. We are trying to find the opposite side, and we've got the hypotenuse given. So I can just simply say sine of X is the opposite side, which is um, a K, sorry for that divided by the hypotenuse, which is 2. If I do cross multiplication, AK times 1 gives me AK equals 2 times sine of X, which is going to be 2 sine of X. A very easy question. Very nice right there. We're now going to move on to um, the follow-up question here, which is uh, question 2 that says, calculate the numerical value of KF. Now, when we say to you we want the numerical value, it means we want a number. The answer that you're going to get is going to be a value, which is going to be a number. And also remember what you have calculated from the previous questions. You need to use that in this follow-up questions. So if you look closely here, you will notice that we already know that the length of AK is 2 sine of X. And we are required to find the numerical value of the side KF, which is that bottom side lying right there at the bottom. So if I try to reconstruct this triangle to make it easy for me, we've got this triangle that looks like that. This is your K, and this one is your F. You've got the value A there. This angle is 90 degrees plus X, and we are looking for this one. We know already that this is 2 sine of X. We also know that the angle right here is equal to 2X. So the rule that I'm going to apply here cannot be the cosine rule, because the cosine rule works with all the sides of the triangle. So in this triangle, we don't know AF, we don't know KF, there is no way we will lose the cosine rule. So you have to obviously use the sine rule. So now I'm going to use the sine rule to relate what I know with what I am looking for. According to the sine rule, KF divided by the sine of the angle opposite to it, 90 degrees plus X, equals to um, 2 sine of x divided by the sine of 2x. If I simplify this further, this is a reduction question. You can see there when it's 90 degrees plus, remember, it is going to change to its core ratio. So we will have kf divided by the sine, no, because it's um, 90 minus 90 plus, it's going to change to cos of x, yes. 
it's going to change to its core ratio equals to 2 sine of x divided by the sine of 2x. Quickly, if I do cross multiplication on this to leave uh, the side that I'm looking for as a subject of the formula, we end up with something very interesting happening here. Kf becomes 2 sine of x cos of x divided by the sine of 2x. It is very important for you to notice that we now have a double angle and according to our information sheet, we can change that to express it as the numerator will remain 2 sine x cos of x and the denominator will become 2 sine of x multiplied by the cosine of x and therefore our length of kf becomes the same thing divided by itself and the answer becomes 1. A very interesting question indeed. I hope you learned a couple of things from this. Thank you very much for sending us that question. It was a good question indeed. Now, um, we are going to go to an ad break. Please don't go anywhere. Join us after this.